Hello everybody and welcome to this BitClavier tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some of the tunings and temperaments included with BitClavier as well as how you might go about creating your own tuning system or temperament either for use in a digital audio workstation or just to play into BitClavier to see how an existing piece of music or indeed one of your own compositions sounds in a different tuning system. So the first thing you're going to want to do is double click on this tuning fork and you should be presented with this screen here. Now the first thing to notice is that in this box it says equal temperament. This is the default setting for BitClavier. So upon opening up the program, anything I play, either by clicking on the keyboard at the bottom or by pressing on my MIDI keyboard in front of me, everything I play will sound in equal temperament. So if I play this extract from Howard Shaw's Lord of the Rings soundtrack, it should, from a temperament point of view, sound relatively familiar. But what if I were to change the tuning system? If I click on that same box which says equal temperament, I'm presented with a list of different tuning systems. Some of them alongside historical from throughout history, alongside various, or just on this list here. I'm going to choose quarter comma mean tone, and immediately we can see that the diagram, which was previously black and white, has now changed to white, blue, and red. Now if a note has come up blue, it means that it has been offset negatively from equal temperament. So you can see from this box at the top right of the diagram that our D-flat is now 24 cents flatter than it was when we were in equal temperament a moment ago. Or on the other hand, this F is 5.4 cents sharper than it was in equal temperament. Now if I play that Howard Shaw extract again, you'll notice a slight change in colour. It's a subtle difference, but I think you'll agree that the general mood of the extract has changed just by narrowing and widening a couple of the intervals respectively. But because that extract is in C major, and as you can see from this box at the top right here, our quarter comma mean tone tuning has been tuned on, on the root of a C, our piece lends itself quite well to it because the tuning system has been based on the key that the music is in. But if I click on that box, and change the root of the temperament to something slightly further away from the key of the music. So I'm going to choose F sharp here. You can see that the diagram has become a little bit more radical in its offsets and its colours. And uh, well, the effect on the music has been rather profound. I think you'll agree it's not quite the same level of tranquility that perhaps Howard Shaw intended when he wrote the music. But now I'm going to show you how you can make your own tuning system. The easiest place to start is with equal temperament. Now with equal temperament it doesn't matter what the root of your tuning system is because it'll sound the same. But for my tuning system I'd like the root to be A, so I shall select that there. Now if I hover over this diagram and click on a given note and drag my mouse up to make it sharper or down to make it flatter, I will now select a random smattering of different offsets and we'll see how it sounds with our shore extract. So make that a little sharp. I'm going to leave the A alone so that will still show up white. And I'm not going to touch any of the black keys because since our piece is in C major, I won't be using any of them. But let's see how that sounds with a completely illogically crafted tuning system. Yeah, that's pr almost unrecognisable to my ears. But there you have it. That is how quickly to create your own tuning system and temperament 
using BitClavier. Another way you can do it is to click on Edit All and to enter the offsets you want as numerical values with the spaces in between them. In another video, I will show you how to monitor the offsets of particular intervals using the keyboard below and indeed how to change the width between semitones on your keyboard. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I hope this has been useful.